We are, I guess, better known for our rescues, the Southern Ocean rescues particularly, than we are for most of the other roles. Really, rescue is a, a minor part of our business. A major part is ocean surveillance, supporting the, uh, the Navy, over the horizon targeting, anti-submarine warfare. All of those things are conducted out of the public eye. In general, we're out over the sea somewhere, well and truly out of the public eye. The forerunner of Australia's modern maritime reconnaissance force really began in 1939 with the formation of number 10 squadron at Point Cook in Victoria and number 11 squadron at RAF Base Richmond in New South Wales. During the war years, the squadrons were equipped with Sunderland and Catalina flying boats to conduct their long-range maritime reconnaissance roles. By the late 1940s, early 50s, number 11 squadron was making the transition from the Lincoln aircraft to the more sophisticated maritime patrol P2V Neptune. In 1962, Number 10 Squadron also made the transition to the now well-proven and highly successful maritime patrol version of the Neptune. The association of Edinburgh with maritime flying began in 1968 when Number 11 Squadron was equipped with P3B Orion aircraft and uh, was moved into the base. The next most significant event I think that occurred is probably in the mid 80s uh, when Number 10 Squadron was re-equipped with the P3C uh, and that took us right through to uh, the early 1990s when another phase of the base's development began. Over the last 10 years, the most significant changes on the base have been the arrival of three major units. Number one radar surveillance unit, more commonly known as Jindalee, uh, the Aviation Medicine Institute and MPLM Squadron, uh, the Maritime Patrol and Logistics Management Squadron. This is really the picture of what Edinburgh is today. It's a major Australian Defence Force asset, 2,200 people on the base and it is the core, the heart of maritime patrol surveillance uh, in Australia for the Australian Defence Force. Uh, Orion Captain's job is a fairly complex job uh, as far as I see it. Um, the wing has a, an obligation uh, to conduct a series of uh, operations in Australia and, and overseas and as a maritime captain it's my responsibility to ensure that my crew and my aircraft are, uh, are capable of doing the job and that we go out and do the job proficiently and uh, professionally. There's a lot of perceptions about uh, maritime patrol from within the Air Force and also from outside the Air Force. Uh, the first one from in the Air Force is that we're, we're called fish heads. 
and uh, basically all we do is run around the ocean and, uh, and look for ships. We're always on standby. There's always a crew at 92 Wing that is on either um, Wing standby or National standby. And National standby is the one that we were on when uh, the Southern Ocean Rescue took place.